Welcome to Cincinnati.com. Uh, I'm Ryan Ernst. And I'm here with Mike Dyer, our two uh, prep writers for, for Cincinnati.com, Northern Kentucky, or NKY.com, and the Enquirer. Um, we're just going to recap a little bit of, of the last week, week one in, in Ohio football. Um, Mike, obviously, you know, the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown is, it kicks off every year. It's a big deal. Drew a little more national attention this year with ESPN coming in town for a couple games. What, what stuck out to you? You got to see quite a bit of the games and, and, and talk to some of those coaches and players. What, what's, what will you remember about this year? Uh, definitely, Ryan. I mean, it, it was a huge event. Tom Gimble always is, is going another step further and taking it to a different level. Um, I think a lot of people had uh, St. Saint, Saint X uh, pegged as winning the home game on Sunday. And, you know, for three quarters they had a 6 to nothing lead. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for St. X, turnovers really cost them in the end. And uh, uh, Our Lady of Good Counsel uh, out of the D.C. area uh, – Came in and defeated St. X. I know that was that was really surprising. Yeah, and the nightcap there. I mean, I, obviously Braxton Miller was the guy that ESPN was going to focus on, and and boy, he really impressed. What did you? What were your impressions of Moeller? Um, Moeller really did a nice job of, of gathering the troops at halftime. John Rodenberg said that, you know, hey, don't look at the clock, don't look at the scoreboard, just get out there, and we're going to rally and get this thing done. And, and their motto has been to finish everything this year. And, and Muller did just that in the second half. They limited uh, Wayne. You know, they held him scoreless yeah. uh, in, in the final two quarters, and uh, Tucker Scove had an outstanding performance for Muller. And Coach Rodenberg also said uh, that, that, that Tucker Scove gave the, the halftime speech. They got everybody going for the second half and said that, you know, that, that he talked about some of the core values of the program and, and let's go out there and, and, and just let it all hang out in the second half, which is exactly what they did, and they, and they took care of business. Um, you know, looking ahead a little bit, you know, obviously uh, there's uh, – there's one big game that everybody's everybody's going to be talking about. Uh, just what do you what do you see there? Yeah, there is a big game uh, on, on Cheviot Road Friday night at around 7:30. Uh, obviously, it's we're talking about number one Corian versus number two Elder this week, and uh, you know it, it's going to be an electric atmosphere at the cage. Uh, you know, um, Corian remembers all too too well what happened at the pit last year on ESPN, and believe me, the Cardinals are ready for this one. Um, but uh, Elder, you know, Elder is Elder. So uh, Ben Caffaro had an outstanding performance on Friday night. Uh, he just, you know, Doug Ramsey called him the best player in Cincinnati. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's not to be taken lightly. Who is, as, as far as um, you talked about Caffaro, uh, any other surprise? The Scove kid, I think, came out and really, really proved himself. I mean, if, if you had an MVP to give out the, the first week, who, who would you think wow. we, we, who would go to? Uh, Caffaro. He returns a kickoff 98 yards, and that was a school record on Friday night. Uh, obviously, Scove with five touchdowns. You know, uh, it's got to be Tucker Scove. Uh, you know, he had the five touchdowns with tied a school record uh, that hadn't been set since uh, 1969 at Muller. So, puts him really in some rarefied air, uh, you know, and, and it's going to be interesting to see how, how Muller responds uh, even next week against Hamilton. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a fun weekend. Make a pick. Corey Elder. Uh, wow. Um, gonna have to go with Colerain. Uh, they haven't lost at home since 1999, and I just, I just like this, the swagger of this team this year. They, they're, they're loaded. Uh, you know, in so many different positions. Uh, senior linebacker Jared Grace uh, uh, didn't play last week against Northmont because he had a shoulder injury, but I expect him to play Friday night. And I, I like the Cardinals in a tight one. Definitely. Thanks, Mike, and thanks for joining us, guys. Check back in next week.